Have you ever had somebody dislike one of your YouTube videos or even leave a negative comment? I have and believe me it hurt at first but then I learned how to get over it and I'm going to teach you how to overcome that negativity on YouTube in today's video. everyone my name is Simone Redman I'm an online video strategist and YouTube specialist and I teach women entrepreneurs how to grow their business with the power of video by teaching them how to grow their authority and their income and influence as well so in today's video I feel like this is kind of like a hot topic that many women entrepreneurs or many women youtubers are really going through is the negativity because there's so many things that we have to like live up to and be pretty and all this other stuff with society and some people leave negative comments and we don't know how to deal with them so we're gonna be talking about that today so here's the thing and it's kind of like a personal video but I still want to give you some tips as well on how to overcome this negativity uh, one thing is that especially with us women entrepreneurs we have to feel like you know society is like hey you have to do this you have to look this certain way you always have to have makeup on when you're doing videos which is fine you know but I'm not that type of person um, I may like go as far as like having lip stain on but that's really about it um, but I just feel that there's so many things that we can do to overcome all of this negativity and it's like we flip out when somebody either dislikes the video or somebody negatively comments and we are just sitting there like what the heck I'm doing everything that I can why is somebody disliking my video right well I want you to know tip number one that everybody has this issue I've had this issue I've had a video that um, had like so many dislikes and to be honest with you because at the time this was like 2016 I was not mentally strong for that type of negative reactions for my video so I deleted the video and I still wish I had it to this day because it just lets you know that everybody has that issue. As you see right here, this is a comment from one of, from that video that I screenshotted and posted onto my Facebook page um, a few years ago. And you see my response. I just said thank you for watching because at the time, you know, when people take time to negatively comment on your video or dislike it, use it as positive engagement. Because guess what? Somebody reacted with your video. Somebody commented. Somebody increased your watch time. Somebody increased your views on your videos. Like, think of it as a positive experience. That's what you have to do, especially with YouTube. So if somebody dislikes it, whatever. You took the time to watch it. You took the time to increase my watch time. You took the time to help me increase my ad revenue. So I'm okay with it. You know, you have to learn how to be okay with the negative things that come with YouTube. It's gonna happen. If you're gonna be on YouTube, expect it, okay? Please expect it. And to be honest, I haven't had one recently, but if I do, okay. I may leave the comment up, I may delete it, whatever. But you have to learn how to overcome and think of all of those negative experiences as positives. Once you get your head wrapped around that, having negative things happen on your YouTube channel or on your videos, it won't even be an issue for you. Like, you'll just be like, ugh whatever right <laughs> so you have to learn how to overcome with that so like I said earlier number two respond to the negative comment or just simply delete it now I have talked to certain youtubers who are you know putting videos on YouTube and they get negative comments and they simply delete the comment and block that person which is good because you want to protect your energy especially with your YouTube channel if you're just like one of those type of sensitive people you're just like oh my god I don't want this negative comment on my video. I don't want people to see it. Just delete it, okay? It's not that big of a deal. Um, it happens, but of course you're still gonna see it. And you just have to think, well, dang, they took the time to watch this video and reply with a negative comment? You are joking me. What? What? But of course, like I said, if it's negative, it's too, if you're too sensitive about it, just delete the comment, honestly. <laughs> just delete it because It'll kind of get it out of your head and you can kind of go about with your day. But as I'm gonna talk about later, you have to be mentally strong in order to really be on YouTube and experience the negatives that's gonna happen with you being on YouTube. So number three, not all negative comments are negative comments. 
Many of them could be constructive criticism. Somebody could say, hey, you're saying this word too many times, or you know, my favorite thing is saying, all right, well, here we go. All right, let's do this. Um, and that's my favorite word. I had to catch myself saying that all the time, but it could be constructive criticism. Somebody could say that your lights are too dark or your video's too dark, okay, what does that mean? Get better lighting or either record your videos in the daytime. Makes perfect sense. Somebody says that your sound is horrible. What does that mean? Get a microphone for your camera. So you have to know the difference between negative comments and trolls and constructive criticism. So if you can take that constructive criticism and say, okay, well, thank you for telling me that, I will work on that. I honestly, um, go through YouTube videos just like searching for things and just kind of like looking at other people's videos and I'll leave constructive criticism you may see me on your video leaving constructive criticism to kind of help you um, become better and I don't mind constructive criticism on my own channel because I feel that it helps me become better so if it's constructive criticism guess what I'm gonna leave it as a comment because somebody else can see that and be like man well, maybe I need to do the same thing. So you want to just think positively when it comes to your channel, your videos that you create, and the people that you're going to impact with your channel alone. Okay, last thing. Work on having a positive mindset. You have to be, like I said earlier, you have to be mentally strong if you are going to be on YouTube. I have talked to clients and they posted a video on YouTube and they're like, oh my God, like two people dislike my video. What am I gonna do? Like, this is this is crazy. I don't know why they don't like it. Like you can't, your videos aren't gonna satisfy everybody. And I want you to understand that. Your videos aren't going to satisfy the next person. All you have to worry about is your audience, making sure your video is great for them, making sure that they understand it. That's it. You don't care about all this extra isms. I like to call it that, extra, extra isms. You can use that word too, extra isms. Don't worry about all the extra isms um, because that's not your focus. Your focus is to make sure that you are giving your content out to your audience, giving that, that good stuff so that they can go ahead and become better people or better entrepreneurs, whatever it is, okay? That's what you're focused on. So have a positive mindset. Some of the things that you need to do, uh, listen to podcasts, read books, <laughs> read books, read books, read books, listen to books on Audible. I love doing that part, especially in my car. Um, use your car as a university on wheels, um, attend events, attend live seminars, things like that will kind of put you in a positive mindset, a positive mindset. You have to have that when it comes to YouTube, okay? And I, I just want you to know, like you have to have that because you, you are not here to satisfy everybody. Everybody's not your client. Everybody's not your target audience. Everybody on YouTube is not who you're wanting to satisfy. You know who your target audience is. You know your ideal client. Speak and create videos just for them, okay? So work on having that positive mindset. Read as many books as you can. One book that I loved, love, love, love is, I cannot think of it now, but it's a book by Denise Duffield Thomas. If I could think of it right now, I could think of it. It's not Chillpreneur, it's something else. But I'm gonna put the picture of it, bang, right there so that you can see it. Um, but it's really good. I love listening to that book. It really helped me when it comes to like money mindset and being positive and learning who I'm doing this for. And um, another one that I'm currently reading right now is Million Dollar Habits by Brian Tracy. Love that book, love that book. So. That was just, those are some of, books, some of the books. I'll leave them in the description below so that you can see that as well. So just work on those four things. Work on those four things. Make it work. Make it happen. And just don't really settle for the negativity. That's really what I can say. Make sure that your, your, pot, your mindset is positive. Make sure that you are open to constructive criticism. Make sure that you are looking at this and saying, this person took the time to watch this 10 minute video and they left a negative comment or they disliked it. Thanks for the engagement. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> it was kind of sarcastic, but I, I really do. And that's that's the thing that I have to think about. Like, wow, you took the time to really watch this video and you, and you disliked it. You know, like one of my videos, even though it has like 50,000 views, it has like 80 dislikes. And I'm like, man, 
that's some great engagement right there. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So I want you to take those four tips, think about it, marinate over it, and just really learn how to have the best positive mindset when it comes to being on YouTube. Once you overcome that and overcome the negativity that comes with it, my gosh, you will absolutely love this platform when you do. All right, so I don't wanna hold you too long. I wanna thank you for watching this week's video and I will talk to you very, very soon. Have a good one.